Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Slacker here with Slacker Nation. Welcome, welcome to Slacker Nation. If you haven't seen the previous two videos, please go ahead and watch those as well. I covered the AFC East and the AFC North. Today, we will be covering the AFC South rosters. And starting off is the Tennessee Texans. Tennessee Texans got Deshaun Watson back after last year. 82 overall, I feel like it's just a kick in the nuts. He absolutely destroyed people when he played last year. Yeah, he's, you know, hurt, whatever. But an 82 overall, not even remotely close to what he actually is. But they have him as an 82 overall starting this year at quarterback for the Texans. Lamar Miller is 85. That, I honestly think, is a little high. Lamar Miller didn't honestly do too much last year. If I remember correctly, at 85, I feel like that's a little high. Devontae Foreman, who was their rookie last year, he's at a 75. Going on to their wide receivers. DeAndre Hopkins, 94. That's pretty, pretty spot on with what he should be. He's going to have another great year. Deshaun Watson's going to just tear up defenses. So Hopkins, wouldn't be surprised if he has a MVP season. Uh, Will Fuller is going to be on that other side of Hopkins at a 82. Bruce Ellington is a 77, converted from a running back. Braxton Miller, 73. Koi Koite from Texas Tech is a rookie at 72. Tight end, they got Ryan Griffin coming back from Connecticut. They got St Steven Anderson from California and Pruitt from southern illinois left tackle they got a rookie in martinez rankin from mississippi state not sure if he'll start or not might be lamb might be someone else but right now martinez rankin is a 67 overall rookie from michigan state starting left guard they have zach fulton great left guard at center they got nick martin second year from notre dame at 72 overall right guard 72 overall is kalamate kalimite at 72 overall and right guard right tackle they have henderson he's a 68 they might also have a left tackle play over here as well left in you got your should be 99 overall jj watt 98 is just a disgrace jj watt is by honestly to my knowledge i think he is if not the best defensive player overall he is by far the best end defensive player. I think it should be a 99, but again, didn't make the rankings. But he comes in at a 98 this year. Carlos Watkins, 72 overall. Right ends, we got Covington coming in at a 75. We got Heath coming in at a 72. Defensive tackles, we have DJ Reader from Clemson, his second year. And we have Brandon Dunn at a 71, Kilgo 69, and Hardison at a 66. Left outside linebacker, we have Whitney Merciless. I think he should be a little bit higher than an 81, but they have him as an 81 right now. They have a rookie, Joe Four at 68 from Wake Forest. Middle linebacker, they have Zach Cunningham, who was a rookie last year, had a great year as a rookie. So they have him at a 79 overall. I think that's probably the perfect rating for him. They have his backup being McKinney at a 78 overall and Dylan Cole at a 75 overall. Right outside linebacker, they have Jadavian Clowney. I honestly, you know, Ends are moving the linebackers, linebackers moving the ends, you just never know. But they have Jadavian Clowney this year as a 91, right outside linebacker. He will probably be their starter for sure. Cornerbacks, they got J Jonathan Joseph back, and he's an 85. They got Colvin at a 79, Kareem Jackson at a 78. Free safeties, they got Tyron Matthew, who I think was a huge sign for the Texans. Their defense just gets even better. He's at a 93 for their strong safety. Or free safety, sorry. Strong safety. They have Andre Howe back from last year. He's an 87. I think that might be a little high, but, you know, it is what it is. They also have Justin Reed from Stanford, who comes in at a 74 overall as a rookie. Kicker, they have Fairburn. Firebarn? I don't remember how to say his name. He's a 73 overall. Punter, they have Shane Leckler back. Well, I don't know if he's back, but he's back at a 78 overall. If you guys think that the Texans are going to be the winner of the AFC South. 
go ahead and comment that, that, that down below and tell me who you guys think is going to win the AFC South this year. Is it going to be the Texans? Is it going to be the Jaguars, the Colts, or the Tennessee Titans? The very next team we're going to do is the Jacksonville Jaguars. This is my, personally, who I think is going to win the AFC South. We'll wait and see if they do. However, their stack, their defense is absolutely bloated. I would say their defense will be the best defense in the Football League this year. But we'll go over that in a second. At quarterback, they have Blake Bortles at an 80 overall. I think that's a little high. However, you know, don't make the things. Tanner Lee coming in at 61. I feel like that is um, really low. I 65 maybe, but to put him in at 61, I think that's a little low. He's from Nebraska, and he is their rookie. Leonard Fournette, 87. Absolute kick in the nuts. Leonard Fournette should be a least, at least a 94 overall. 87 is an absolute joke. Fournette was an absolute monster all year long. Maybe it's because he was a rookie last year that they thought, oh, you know, rookies usually have down second years. Maybe that's why they put him in 87. But right now they have Leonard Fournette at an 87 for their halfbacks. They have Yeldon still, who comes out at 78, and Corey Grant at a 76. Going on to their wide receivers, they have Marcus Lee. I don't know if it'll be his, their number one or if it will be D.D. Westbrook, but they have Marcus Lee. They lost a big chunk of their wide receiver core, so a lot of people are going to have to step up. A lot of young players are going to have to step up and make some plays for this Jaguar passing core to be able to have Bortles play up to his potential. They have Marcus Lee at 82. They have D.D. Westbrook at an 80 rookie last year Dante Moncrief they brought over from the Colts and Keelan Cole rookie last year at 79 overall they also have DJ Clark Chark from LSU as a rookie 72 overall tight end they got Austin Savarian Jenkins 81 overall easily their starter left tackle Cam Robinson at a 73 overall left guard they got Andrew Norwell at a 91 overall they got Chris Reed, 66, and they have rookie, well, oh, rookie Casey McDermott from Miami is a 62 overall. We are going to go on to the center. Brandon Linder, one of the best centers in the game. He comes in at an 89. Right guard, AJ Can comes in in the 71. Brandon Thomas is also a 69, so there might be a little bit of a battle there. Right tackle, they have Jeremy Parnell from Ole Miss, 78 overall, and they got a, another rookie tackle in Will Richardson Jr. from NC State. Left in, they got Campbell. This is where their defense gets loaded. They have Campbell coming in at 92 overall. They have Dante Fowler at an 81 overall. Right in, they got Nwaku, I think is his name second year guy from Maryland he comes in in the 86 defensive tackle they got Malik Jackson and Darius 85 84 their backups are actually probably better than most teams defensive tackles they got Ta Taven Bryan from Florida rookie he's gonna probably have a big year if he gets to play he's a 76 overall rookie left outside linebacker they have Miles Jacks his th second year I guess playing they got Leon Jacobs at from Wisconsin as a rookie at 67, but they have Miles Jack starting at an 84. Middle linebacker is probably where they don't have the best, but this will probably be their only spot, and who knows, they might fill big shoes. They have Blair Brown at 70 overall, second year. Brooks Ellis, second year from Arkansas at 64. Right outside linebacker, they have Telvin Smith, who's one of the best outside linebackers, along with his buddy, Miles Jack. So, they're stacked this year. Cornerbacks are even more stacked. They have probably the best corner in the game right now at Jalen Ramsey. It's 97 overall. They got A.J. Boye at 94 overall. D.J. Hayden coming in at 74. They're, st <clears throat> they're stacked, guys. They have, I think everyone on their defense, I think besides their middle linebacker, is an 80 or above right now. Free safety, they got Deshaun Gibson. He's an 85 overall. Strong safety, Barry Church. He's an 83 overall. They have a rookie strong safety 
Ronnie Harrison from Alabama. He's 70 overall. I think that's a little low, but again, did make the ratings. Kicker, they have Josh Lambeau. Punter, they have Logan Cook, who is a rookie from Mississippi State. So, pun a rookie punter. We'll wait and see how that plays out. If you agree with me and think Jacksonville Jaguars will win the AFC South, go ahead and comment that down below. If you don't think they're going to win or you don't agree with the ratings or whatever, comment that down below. I'd love to have a discussion about it. I love when people comment. Makes me makes me think about stuff I don't think about when I am actually editing and recording. The next team we're going to look at is the Indianapolis Colts. I think they might have a decent year, but I don't think they're probably going to win the AFC South. I think the Jaguars are the forerunner for that right now. 87 overall, Andrew Luck. Hopefully he'll be lucky this year, pun intended. Lucky this year and get to actually play some football games. He comes in at an 87 overall. Jacoby Brissett comes in at a 76 overall. Halfbacks, they got Marlon Mack at a 77 overall rookie last year. They have Hines, who is a rookie this year. He comes in from North Carolina State at 74 overall. At wide receiver, they have T.Y. Hilton. 89, I think, is a little low. I figured he'd be like a 92-ish. But he comes in at an 89. Ryan Grant comes in at 78. Chester Rogers, 74. They have Deion Kane from Clemson. He comes in at a 68 rookie. They have Reese Fountain coming in from Northern Iowa. He is also a rookie, 68 overall. Tight ends, they got Jack Doyle and Eric Ebron. Honestly, I don't know what they have planned here, but Indianapolis loves their tight ends, and they have two good ones with Doyle and Ebron being 85 and 84. Now we go on to the offensive line. We got Costanzo from Boston College at 84 overall this year. Left tackle, left guard. We have a rookie, Quentin Nelson, who I think might actually be the highest rated rookie in the game. However, I will be making a video on draft picks. So if you want to see that, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And later I will be releasing a rookie rating video that will go through all of the first two rounds of players and their overall ratings and stuff like that so if you want to see that stuff hit subscribe the video will come it'll be great anyway left guard 83 overall nelson rookie huge draft pick at center they have ryan kelly 76 overall right guard muhor at 78 overall Braden Smith could also challenge that. He's a 75 overall rookie from Auburn. He could challenge that as well. Right tackle, Austin Howard comes in at a 74 overall. Left end, we have Marcus Hunt, who is a 77 overall. Right ta or right end, sorry, Sabal Sherd, Sherd from Pittsburgh. He's an 89 overall. Defensive tackle, they got Al Woods, 83 overall. They got some younger defensive tackles, uh, Ridgeway and Roches, who could, one of them could be the second defensive tackle. Left outside linebacker, they have John Simmon, who is a 78 overall. Middle linebacker, they got Leonard, who is a rookie. So, Colts have quite a few rookies that could be starting in their opening day roster. But, they have 72 overall, Darius Leonard from S South Carolina State, rookie. They also have a Houston rookie at 64 overall middle linebacker. All right outside linebacker, another rookie, Toure from Rutgers. He, I hope, will start because he is a rookie and he needs a playing time. He was good at Rutgers. I remember watching him at Rutgers. He's very good. 72 overall, 71 overall rookie from last year, Walker. And Franklin, who is a 68 overall from Syracuse, also a rookie. Going over to the cornerbacks. Desir, 73 overall. Quince, Quincy Wilson, 72 overall. Harrison, 72 overall. Moore, 69. And DJ White, 69 as well. They got very, very young cornerbacks. They just need experience. They might need to trade, go out and trade and get one big corner to try to combat the, you know, the big wide receivers they'll end up facing um, this year. But that's their corners for right now. Free safety, they got get Gaithers, Gaithers at free safety. They also have Malik Hooker, who could also be their free safety starting day one. 
Matthias Farley comes in at strong safety at 80 overall. They also have TJ Green at 78 overall. Kicker, they have Vinatieri. Dude's a beast, dude's a legend. 22 years of experience. Uh, who knows, he'll probably go for 40 years of experience. As long as his leg doesn't fall off, he should be fine. Punter, he, they have Sanchez, who is from Hawaii, second year, 76 overall. So if you guys think that the Colts are gonna win the AFC South, Go ahead and comment that down below. And the last team we will go over is the Tennessee Titans. Tennessee Titans have my favorite quarterback, Marcus Mariota, because he went to Oregon. And I loved his college football days. He comes in in the 79 overall. Me being me, I think it should be a little bit higher, maybe an 82, 83. But he comes in at 79 overall. Blaine Gabbert, 70. Luke Falk from Washington State comes in at 65. Halfbacks, they got some good halfbacks this year. They got Deion Lewis, who they picked up from uh, the Patriots. He's an 87. They have Derrick Henry, who I think will actually probably carry a lot of the weight. Um, he's a second-year man out of Alabama. He's an 86 this year. They have a rookie, Wadley, from Iowa. He comes in at a 68 overall. Coming in at their wide receivers, they have Richard Matthews, who will probably be their number one wide receiver. He comes in at 82. Corey Davis, rookie last year. We need to see more from him. He comes in at an 88. Taiwan Taylor, rookie last year. He comes in at a 77. Sharp, 75. And the rookie, Burnett, at 67. Tight end, Delaney Walker, one of the best tight ends in the game. He's just got to keep his game up and stay injury free. He comes in at a 93 this year. Left tackle, Lewin, 85 overall from Michigan. They also have a rookie, Diaz, who comes in at 60 overall. Left guard, they have Quinton, Quinton, probably, Spain, from West Virginia. Third year guy, left guard, 75 overall starter. Center, they got Ben Jones. He's a, good, he's a good center, and he will be teaching Fala the ropes from USC. He comes in at a 59 overall. Right guard, Josh Klein, 80 overall. Right tackle, Jack Conklin, coming in for his second year, or third year. He's an 81 overall this year. Left end, they got Daquan Jones from Penn State. He's an 81 overall. They also have a rookie at 62 overall, Matt Dickerson from UCLA. Right in, they got Casey, who is one of their captains. He is an 89 overall, will probably get the job, and won't lose it. Defensive tackles, they got Benny Logan from LSU at 79 overall. They have Austin Johnson from Penn State at 75 overall, playing the defensive tackle. I'm not sure if they just don't have one, but that's who they have on the roster for defensive tackle right now. Heading to the linebackers, we got Derek Morgan. As an outside linebacker, he comes in at a 76. Middle linebacker, we got Woodyard, who is one of their captains. He comes in at an 80. They added Rashad Evans from Alabama, who is a 76 overall rookie. Right outside linebacker, they got Arakbo. He is an 86 overall from Texas. They also have Harold Landry from Boston College. He comes in at a 75. Cornerbacks, they got Malcolm Butler, 87 overall. Young-ish, still has only played five years, four years. Logan Ryan, 83, and Andre Jackson, 83. Rookie last year, had a good year, so they could have potentially two corners fighting for that number two spot. They also have a rookie from Arizona who comes in at 70 overall. Free safeties, they got Bayard from Mid-Tennessee State. He is an 88 overall. Strong safety, they got Cyprin from FIU. He's an 82 overall. They also have a rookie, Damon Webb from Ohio State, who comes in at a 58 overall. Ryan Suckup is going to be their kick up, kicker again this year. Brent Kern will be their punter at a 79 overall. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I appreciate it if you missed the first two, which was the AFC East and the AFC North. Please go ahead and check those videos out in the cards above. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to hit that subscribe button so you catch all of my Madden 19 videos that I will be posting this year. And I will catch you in the next video. Slacker out.